Jack, that was a fantastic victory against the reigning world champion. I know you weren't certain of how you would perform when you came out, but some lovely break building. Yeah, I felt really good after the first frame, just settled and, and I felt like I was concentrating well. So obviously he's the world champion, so I couldn't relax at any point and just try to keep my concentration and intensity and, and get over the line. That first frame was quite a big one and then he missed that pink and you took your chance brilliantly. Perfect way to settle against him out there under the bright lights with 2,000 watching. Yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't really remember much of the match. I was just focused and I think, yeah, he missed the pink, didn't he? I can remember that one and did a good, I did a good break that first frame. I think, um, what was I doing? I was like on about 20 and then I, when, I, when I smashed that wasp with me cue, I thought like I'm on it today. So <clears throat> my hand-eye coordination felt good. I was focused. Yeah, I think the game turned on that wasp. <laughs> and also, look, we, we spoke before the match about you saying that, yeah, there have been times in the last 12 months when you haven't been enjoying snooker. No. But out there, yeah, yeah. It in makes that it... kind of environment, yeah. that it's, it was great to see you playing with, with heart. And it looked like you were enjoying it. Yeah, that, that's kind of what you play for. And, and when you've been getting beat, like I had a stinker at the UKs, and then I've lost qualifiers, and I've lost, you know, in... Scotland and I've lost everywhere. It just gets you, gets you down. But today it was such a big occasion, and you know, you just—I don't know what I'd have done if I lost that game. To be honest with you, I was just really just just thinking, um, I want to win this, and, and um, I, I managed to play some good stuff. I was really determined and felt focused. So I just got to keep it up now. Did you enjoy it all the more because during the UK champs, after you'd been knocked out, there was half a chance yeah. that you may not have been here at all? Did yeah. that make it all the sweeter today? Uh, not really. It was, that was a very stressful experience and it was just well out of my hands and I wasn't even watching, to be honest. I just had my uncle texting me what was going on and, um, yeah, it's, it, I was lucky. I'm lucky to just be here, but I wasn't thinking that today. You know, I've, I've been looking forward to this tournament since I got to the semis last year and um, I'd have been gutted if I wasn't in it. So I'm in it. And I wasn't, yeah, I just buzzed into still being. And, and this is perfect in a way, isn't it? Because first afternoon, massive pressure, but having won the match, you can get, go back home to Cheltenham, a few days away from the spotlight, yeah. and then come back raring to go for the quarters, whether it's Zhang or, or the Murphy. Yeah, yeah, like you said, it's, it's going to be another three, four days packed practice in the bank. And um, just got to stay, just, you know, not, not watch too much snooker, not get too excited. But I don't know, I'm playing well. Who knows what's going to happen this week? It was great to watch and the crowd loved it. Well done, Jack. Cheers, Rob. Thank you.